his plan Since you've been gone Don't go out in the sun Cause nothing feels as warm as your hands All right, good day, and welcome to Wednesday and the Wednesday Play Along. Uh, we have uh, some great stuff again tonight. We are just so fortunate um, to get just some great guests on this show. And with that, uh, let me introduce, he's a singer, he's a songwriter, he's a recording engineer, and a phenomenal uh, musician who plays a whole lot of instru uh, instruments. And he's here. Um, so let's get started and welcome Mark Gallagher. <laughs> I, I told him there was fake applause at the beginning of his intro. <laughs> Are you there? I'm here, yeah. All How right. are you guys doing? Hey, fantastic. Well, first of all, thank you for joining us. Um, let me just let everyone know who, if they don't know, where you're based. Um, you are five hours ahead of us in time zone. I, I am. So I am currently based in a small town about 50 miles south of Manchester. It is uh, just gone midnight here. So yeah, I'm a play. I'm very grateful that my family are as patient with me as they are. Um, but yeah, it's, it's late, but it's never too late to play you, is it? Never is. Um, but really, thank you. I know you're staying up late for this and we I appreciate, we really, really appreciate that. It's a great treat to have you on. Thank you. All right, so I will uh, I will turn things over to you. Ooh. I know, okay. it's, uh, there we go, and you're, it's your show. Oh, fantastic, right. Do we have our, uh, do we have the, the, the workshop resources? I, yep, we sure do. I can switch those over at any time. Cool, if you could load them up, I'd like to just dive straight into kind of looking at elements of syncopated strumming. Okay. It's uh, so yeah, that's on the screen as and, and you're on the side so they can see both you and the uh, the, the graphics. Oh, fantastic. Lovely. So uh, syncopated the syncopation station is a workshop that I run at various festivals and clubs and stuff. And I want to kind of condense it briefly uh, into this little stream with you guys. So syncopation is sort of just the blending of uh, the, the on beats and the off beats just to make strumming a bit more interesting as it were and uh, i kind of want to dive into that a little bit um so uh hopefully we're going to look at a couple songs uh, which use syncopated strumming and try and make something a bit meatier uh, so uh first thing to understand is what downbeats are so most music will be in four four time that means there are four beats to the bar one two three four one two three four etc two three four etc However, what we can do is we can divide these uh, up into subdivisions. So we can go from, uh, instead of one, two, three, four, we can put the off beats in between these on beats. Uh, so these are, on my sheet, I've got them written as a little plus, and we call these and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So notice, generally speaking, pardon that, uh, generally speaking, we are going down, for, we're downstroking for our on beats, sometimes called the down beats, and we are upstroking for our off beats, sometimes called upstrokes, up beats. So notice that we've got that motion going in. And generally, we want to keep our right hand sort of like a pendulum, uh, you know, constantly moving, even if you're not necessarily hitting all the time, we want to make sure that we've got that continual motion. We'll come back to that later. However, so we can divide these things up even further. Uh, so in between our one and our and, for example, we'll put a little subdivision here called E. And between our and and the next beat, we'll put another one called A. So what we'll get is we'll be one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So we've got, instead of having four beats, we can divide these up into 16 subdivisions, as it were. We can get 16, um, uh, what's the word? Semi quavers uh, in music, which we can work with, and we can, um, yeah, from this we can uh, um, 
pick and choose what we use and what we don't use. That's very important because music has to have rests in to be interesting. And from this, we can make our own rhythm. And we've got some rhythms here, which I kind of want to show you. Um, the first rhythm I think is really important to understand is skanking. Uh, skanking is a term that's often used in ska music or reggae music. And ska, uh, skanking comes from when you are, uh, instead of playing the downbeats, you play just the upbeats. So instead of going down, we're just going to go up, 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 up. It'll sound something like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so uh, it's really important that we've got our upstrokes here one and two and three and four and and notice how i am using my other fingers on say i'm playing an a chord i'm using my spare fingers to dampen the strings just to sort of cut the note off so it doesn't ring rather than i want to really cut it off and make my my a chord be really snappy so one and two and three and four and, and i'm using that with my other fingers just to sort of rest and meet the strings. So from here, uh, what can we do? Um, so we can translate this into a song. Um, Greg, do you have the chord sheet for Three Little Birds? I do. It's I've got it right on the screen right now for you. Fantastic. So uh, for this, we're going to play using this rhythm. Uh, we're going to uh, I'll stick my cup there. So yeah, we're going to use this rhythm, just upstrokes one and two and three and four and and we're going to have a look at the song three little birds by bob marley uh you guys are ready to join in with me we'll just start on an a chord one two three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and don't worry about a thing there's every little things gonna be all right they don't worry out of things As if a lot of things gonna be alright Rise up this morning Gab the rising sun Three little birds Sit on my doorstep Singing sweet songs A melody used pure and true This singing this is my message to you. So, one, two, three, four. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing's gonna be alright. Sing it, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing's gonna be alright. Keep up that rhythm, guys. Rise up this morning, look out the rising sun. Three little birds sit on my doorstep, singing sweet songs of melodies pure and true. They sing, This is my message to you. They sing, it, Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing's gonna be, be alright Sing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing's gonna be alright Let's do that chorus one more time Sing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing, it's gonna be alright Sing don't worry out of thing Cause every little thing's going to be alright Yeah Thank you <laughs> oh, Thank you very much for bearing, me, uh, bearing with us guys on that minor technical glitch uh, Yeah, uh, I'd like to look at briefly at the, the, the workshop sheet again if I may Mr. Gent Absolutely, there you go Okay, lovely. So uh, from here, I just want to have a look briefly at a couple more rhythms that we can do. Uh, so you're probably familiar with the uh, a strum known as the island strum. You've probably played it in every like uke club that you've probably come across. Um, it you generally notice it as something like down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, 
or down up. But I don't want to think of it in terms of that. I want to think of it slightly differently. Instead, if we think about it as the beats that we're playing, we're going down, so which is our, our one, one, two, and. So we're going two, and then we're doing the upstroke on two, so that's two and. And then we skip three, but we're not actually, so we move our hand down, even though we're not actually hitting on three. And then we go and four and. So it goes one, two and, and four and. One, two and, and four and. Okay? One, two and, and four and. So uh, from here, um, it's important to kind of think of music in these sort of terms. Um, it's important to sort of not just concern yourself with what your hand is mechanically doing, but also where musically, rhythmically that fits in. Uh, and I want to kind of develop this a little bit further by showing you a little bit of a complicated strum. So I'm going to play a C5 chord for this, 0033. Uh, this is a bit of a samba strum from a song called Oye Como Va. It's by Santana, I believe. Um, and this is a two bar rhythm. It's a bit complicated, but it's quite fun. This goes one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. Okay, let's go through that again. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. So we're not playing on the three, but we're just playing on the two and and the four in that second bar. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. Uh, this is a f such a fun rhythm, particularly used in that song. Uh, it's nice to kind of, it, it's a bit complicated. It's a bit of a, an exercise for your hand and your mind as well. Once you get it, it's so much fun to play. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. Uh, so, the reason why I mentioned this drum and how it's quite mental and a bit of a challenge for you is because uh, the next song I want to play uh, is also one that's got a bit of a challenging rhythm. Uh, it's one that's quite syncopated. It's one that you've got to really think about uh, where you place your emphasis. Uh, so, if I could get the uh, chord sheet for You Can Call Me Al, please. You got it. So, um, I want you guys to try not to worry too much about where exactly the placement of the chords are uh, in relation to your lyric sheet, but I want you to think of the progression like this. F, C, B flat. So B flat is three, two, one, one. And we go from B flat back up to C, and then we repeat the progression again. So F, C, B flat, C. F, C, B flat, C. Okay, so um, for this, uh, I'm going to kind of go not at my usual speed, but I'm going to go a bit faster. So do try to keep up with this one. Here we go. You can call me Al. Uh, we'll give it a go. One, two, three, four, one. Take two. One, two, three, four. Down the street, he says, Why am I so soft in the middle now? Why am I so soft in the middle now? Oh, my life's so hard. I need a photo opportunity. I need a shot of redemption. Do I have a cartoon in a cartoon grip? Yeah, like bone digger, bone digger. Dogs in the moonlight. Far away from my well at door. Mr. B, you belly, be you belly. Get this much away from me. You know that I don't find this stuff in news anymore. And if you be my bodyguard, can be a long lost pal. I can call you Betty, and Betty, when you call me, you can call me out. Man walks down the street and says, Why am I so short of attention? Got a short of a span of attention, yeah. Oh, my nest so long. Where is my wife and family? What if I die here? Who'll be my role model? Now that my role model is gone, gone. 
Dirt down by the alley of some roly poly little bad face go Along and along there were incidents and accidents There were hints and allegations To you be my bodyguard I can be a long lost pal I can call you Betty But when you call me and call me out You can call me out Down the stream, stream, strange, whoa, oh, maybe it's the third, whoa, oh, maybe it's the first time around. Don't speak the language, holds no currency. He is a foreign man, and he's surrounded by the sound, sound. Cattle in the marketplace, scattering the north and the He looks around and around, he sees angels in the architecture, spinning in infinity. He says, Amen. And Hallelujah, if you be my bodyguard, I can be a long lost pal. I can call you Betsy, but when you call me, you call me out, you can call me out. <laughs> you just blew the minds of everybody watching. <laughs> I've just taken a look at the comment section and I, yeah, that's a bit of a fast one. Uh, it's only three chords. It's just that little progression that keeps going, but it's just, you know, it's not even at my usual speed, but it's in, yeah, it's, it's quite a bonkers one rhythm wise, but it's, it's a lot of fun if you can get the, the chord changes uh, quick enough on it. It's so much fun. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, I think I've got one more song before I head off. Uh, this song isn't one. It's not really. I, we've not got a chord sheet out. This is actually one of my own ones. Um, so it's a song from my latest album, uh, Songs for Happy Winter. Uh, and I'm going to do it in a bit of a softer style than I normally do. Um, so for those who aren't familiar with me and the general stuff I do, my name is Mark Gallagher. I am a songwriter and uh um, general ukulele player in England but this year I've done a lot of uh, music videos and things um, so about lots of covers and on my weekends uh, I do a lot of collaborations with various ukulele people so I've done collabs with like Peter Matt, Christopher Davis Shannon, Abel Grimus Jr. I've got an upcoming one this month with uh, Andrew Molina from Hawaii which I'm super excited about I've done ones with uh, Victoria Vox uh, Gracie Terzian and more and I'm so excited uh, so you can check my stuff out uh, Mark Galgan Music as my Facebook page um, I'm also on YouTube and Instagram at Mark Galgan Music uh, I've got the merch store uh, markgalganmusic.bandcamp.com uh, to buy my music and my merchandise that would be really helpful if you could want support and artists like that uh, I'm also on Patreon uh, if you want to get like early access to my videos you want to learn more from me so things like chord sheets tabs uh, tutorials on how I do the things I do uh, then you can head over to uh, patreon.com slash Mark Galkin Music uh, I've got some of my patrons in the audience people like Susan Harder Brad Indicott uh, I and I'm so glad to have you guys here um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I do recommend you uh, come check us out. Uh, this last song of mine uh, is called "The Next Move." It's about a girl that I met at a gig I did, and I chatted her up. <laughs> Chord wise, I'm using a cap on second fret. If you do want to play along, cap on second fret, and I'm playing A minor, D, G, and then I do some fun things in the chorus. <laughs> See if you can keep up if if you like. Thank you very much for tuning in today. A crowd around December Friday night. 
The beer flows free and the youngsters roll around. Several hundred faces, but none I recognize. Excuse myself, try to get some air outside. Tip on my shoulder, turn around Feeling somewhat confused Exchange introductions And at hello, I was infused I offered you your favorite drink now So glad you didn't refuse I've made a start I'll let you make the next move Leave the faces blur There's a focus on your eyes We see attention We explore and take our time From golden state to liven up the night Used up to dance, I wish one of my feet were right Listen the crowd, dancing crowd, keep falling into my view or to a sanctuary or oh, you seem charmed and amused We've both been lonely for a while and I so glad to be my muse But I made a start I'll let you make next move one more verse Every step of stage we found somewhere quiet mm, Through to attention the background of your life We practice our Spanish Finding where our fuego lies And you lose your attention I sell the dark in night Viola Duda and tus ojos azul. We can go our separate ways, both got nothing to lose. I leave my number just in case you want to start something new. Let me to start, I'll let you make the next move wow thanks very much wow mark that is awesome thank you so much uh it's been a pleasure uh playing that that was uh, the next move from my album songs for happy winter thank you so much for having me on it's been lovely playing for you guys uh yeah i mean really thanks for staying up that's greatly appreciated you mentioned before you started that song that you were playing it softer than you normally play it Mm -hmm. Is that because it's midnight and you have neighbors? <laughs> uh, yes and no. Uh, yes, because it's midnight. Uh, not It's less so than neighbors. It's more like I've got my mum uh, oh. and my sister asleep. I don't want to like yeah, disturb yeah. them too much. Um, but yeah, the, on the album, it's a bit more of a full band version. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's nice. Uh, this has been lovely. I'm still going to... I'm going to come off and stop playing, but I'm still going to be hanging out in the chat. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, I'll be happily to interact with all you guys and keep the conversations going. Uh, I look forward to, you know, uh, interacting with all you guys. Well, thank you fantastic. so much for having me. Hey, thank you so much, Mark. Again, we showed your information, everyone watching. Um, the information was at the bottom of his title bar, um, his Facebook page, his, uh, his website. And uh, if you go to his website, it'll direct you to all the other channels to get a hold of Mark. So, Mark, thank you again, all the way from across the pond, Mark Amazing Gallagher. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That was cool. That was very cool. Let me go do a few things here. I've got to end a few things.
All right. One second. Let me get my uke. I'll need that. All right. That was great. Yeah, originally uh, we were going to record that um, at an hour that's a little more, um, I guess, conducive <laughs> to his sleep schedule. Um, and he came back and said, no, 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 I'll stay up. So he, he did. So, wow, we really appreciate that. Um, awesome. Um, first thing, for those who attended T-Bug, we had talked about the, the festival, the virtual festival that took place last weekend. It was great. Um, if you did get a chance to, to take part in that, a lot of great workshops. Um, and the cool thing about the workshops, a lot of people made that comment was sometimes when you're in a big room and you're at the back of the room and the presenters at the front and all the visuals at the front, it's hard to see. Um, but it was interesting. A lot of people said they really preferred virtual workshops because every person um, basically had a front row seat. So kind of interesting. We probably would have never done that weren't if it weren't for COVID. So... Alrighty, so we are going to switch over here to this. Alright, we're going to do the same thing if you're new here. Um, not sure if you are. Hello, Rose. There's our big uh, Devin Scott merchandise winner. Um, Rose. Hey, Jeff. Jeffrey from New York. Greetings, greetings. Alright, so we're going to start with I'm a Believer. Um, the B flat, uh, Mark talked about the B flat just a moment ago. So, uh, it's a four, three, I'm sorry. Yeah. Three, two, one, one for the B flat. Kind of tough to get to. Um, it's not the easiest chord to make. Sometimes you can bar the whole, the whole first fret. Um, but a lot of times people just bar the first two, um, with their, with their pointer finger. So if you see, Mark uh, is in the Facebook chat. So if you have any questions for Mark, um, ask away. He's uh, staying online just to answer your questions. So Mark, thanks so much for, for doing that. All right, here we go. Let's just vamp on C a little bit. Mm hmm About that C. Ready? One, two, where do you go? I thought love was only true in fairy tales Meant for someone else but not for me Love was out to get me do -do -do -do, That's the way it seemed do -do -do -do, Disappointment haunted all my dream Then I saw her face Not a trace of down in my mind I'm in love I'm a believer I couldn't leave her if I tried I thought well it was more or less a given thing Seems the more I gave the less I got What's the use in trying? Do 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 do. All you get is pain. Do 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 do. When I needed sunshine, I got rain. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. So we modified that ending a little bit because the, the version you know has this crazy like ending and it's really hard to mimic on a ukulele. Um, so we just sort of changed that. And uh, <laughs> you are welcome, Jolene. You're welcome for playing that. Um, all right. So we are going to do some percussions next. Let's see. Do I have this at the right speed? Yes, I already have that set. So, uh, once again, if you are new, um, every Wednesday we do a couple songs, we'll pick a couple songs and we'll add a drum beat to it. Um, just so you can play along and, and uh, 
kind of uh, learn to play with a drummer and uh, in a consistent uh, format. Um, so you're staying time in time with the drum beat the entire song. So good skill to pick up. So we are going to start this. Let me start the, uh, the drum beat. And this is always a little weird because this is kind of a, well, it's a girl song. <laughs> and uh, a little weird singing the girl song, but I'm going to do it. All right, this is just start up uh, with a vamp on A. And uh, then we just go right into it. Hello, Chantel. I probably should have changed it to woman, shouldn't I? <laughs> yes, Mark, really. That was just great. Um, I would. I would check out his website and listen to just some of the songs. You can download them individually. Uh, you can download the whole album as well. So you got options. Um, I went and did that. Um, if you were listening to the start of the show, um, I had four different songs from a, a, a recent album, so that's what was playing uh, during the countdown to the show tonight. So let me come back here real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to show this real quick. All right, so we started this last week, and then some people chimed in. Um, so this, is, we're going to keep track of the states, and yes, we'll do countries. Um, but let's let's tackle and I added Canada. Um, so for those Canadians here um, But the uh, yellow states are the states where we have had someone join this show who is from that state so if you are from Georgia or South Carolina or West Virginia if you're from there and like live there not just grew up there or born there but I mean if you live there and you're here tonight um, say so in the comments or if you're here from tonight, and just say where you're from in the comments, because you might spark up a conversation uh, with someone else here tonight. So, uh, but we're going to try to fill the map. 
<laughs> I think that'd be kind of fun. So, Georgia, South Carolina, West Virginia. Let's see if we can get those. Mississippi, Louisiana. Let's tackle the eastern, uh, the southeast there. All right. Georgia, excellent. Kim Grubb, fantastic. Georgia, check. Kentucky, I have, yes. Andy, gotcha. All right, we are going to do, can the circle be unbroken? Sort of gospel here, so let's come back to this. And I have that ready. All right. Representing and shared to the West Georgia Uke Ensemble. Cool. Okay, that's a new part of Canada I need to add. I will. I will, Josie. All right, here we go. Let's go back to some lyrics. Let me, uh... Na, na, na. Boop, boop. We all oh, rose. That's nice. You are welcome. Um, hey, we're doing this because we're having fun, right? Uh, so, fantastic. I love that you're enjoying this. That is just... Music, ha, ha, it's music to my ears. All right, here we go. Let's just vamp on C a little bit. That's about the speed we want. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just let the chords scroll up a tiny bit more. Are you ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, and I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw that hers come rolling for to carry my mother away. Can the circle? Be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Lord, I told thee, Undertaker, Undertaker, please drive slow. Oh, the body you are holding, Lord, I hate to see her go. Can the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Oh, I followed close behind her, tried to hold up and be brave. But I could not hide my sorrow when they laid her in the grave. Oh, can the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by, there's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Went back home, Lord, my home was lonesome since my mother, she was gone. All my brothers. Sisters crying, what a home so sad and lone. Can the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. In the sky, Lord, in the sky. Woo, yeah. 
Okay. Just read it some comments. Yeah, I I think I think that is. Well, I know T Bug. Um, I'm commenting on David Travis's comment. Um, so T Bug was virtual festival only um, this year, and we all know why. Um, but it gave so many people an opportunity who would have never been able to go. One, there's a limit on attendance because the hotel is only so big. Um, but two, it's expensive, right? By the time you, if you're from out of state, out of country, to fly into Florida um, to stay at a hotel for you know multiple nights, I mean, you will spend a lot of money. So for fifty dollars, you can attend the festival. I know it's, I know virtual isn't the same, but it's actually pretty cool. So next year, T Bug is going to have a duel. They're going to have the traditional uh, in-person festival, and they are going to also offer a virtual option. So it's kind of cool. And then the, the workshops get recorded. Another great thing, I'm not, um, well, yeah, I'll tell you. Another great thing is when you go to a festival, um, there's two workshops simultaneous, right? Sometimes they're different skill levels, sometimes not. But that's it. And then when you go to one, you miss the other one, and there's never an opportunity to see that again. So when you when it's virtual and it's recorded, you can watch go to one and then watch the other one later. So pretty cool. Chantel, I remember when you were there last year at T Bug. I think you were the person that came the farthest, weren't you? Am I remembering that correctly? Hey, Pete McCarty. And Andy Fluger, Sandy Crocker, hello all. All right, we are gonna do this. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do a fan strum to this. We've talked about a fan strum before. You're just fanning those fingers out from the pinky forward. From the pinky ring middle pointer. You're fanning out. Something like that. Hello, Shirley. It is super, isn't it? All right, let's do this one. You can dance, every dance with the guy who give you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile, Every smile for the man who held your hand in the pale moonlight But don't forget who's taking you home And in whose arms you're gonna be So darling, save the last dance for me Oh I know that the music's fine Like sparkling wine, go and have your fun Laugh and sing, but while we're apart, don't give your heart to anyone. But don't forget who's taking you home, and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, save the last dance for me. Baby, don't you know I love you so? Can't you feel it when we touch? I will never ever let you go I love you oh so much Does this sound a little low? <laughs> I think I need to bring this up a, a key or two You can dance Go and carry on Till the night is gone And it's time to go If he asks if you're all alone, can he take you home? You must tell him no. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, say the last dance for me. <coughs> but don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, Say the last dance for me. Mmm, -hmm, say the last dance for me. Mmm, -hmm, the 
good life dance for me. Yeah, that was way low. So the cool thing about this app, I think many of you have heard of this, it's called OnSong, is you can do this. I can click on that little button. I can say change this to C. And then in instantly everything changes. So I'm just curious. I think somebody, I think I changed that for somebody because that's way too low. You can dance. Oh, that's, that's the key we should have done that in. I'll give you the eye, let them hold you tight. All right, we're going to do that. I know it's going to sound lame. Um, part of it's to show you that maybe the instructional purpose of it. So in changing the key, the point is not to find a song online and play it in the key that you happen to find it in. The point in many cases is one to either find a song that is in your key or to find a song that isn't and change it to your key. So we are going to do that. I know we're going to do the same song twice, but that's fine. Um, we're going to do this in the key of C and you can just see it's the same song. We changed it uh, down from G um, down to C, um, but we're going to do that. Are you ready? You're like, you're like, we just did this song. I know, I know. It's good. It's instructional. Because I've seen that so often, I, I'm, I'm guilty. I used to do that. Or I would find a song online and it was either the version that was popular and that's why it's online. And then I would try to sing with that and I couldn't because it's too high or too low. So we're going to just do this. Oh, this is probably going to be better. Are you ready? You can dance every dance with the guy who give you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile every smile for the man who held your hand in the pale moonlight. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, save the last dance for me. Oh, I know that the music's fine Like sparkling wine, go and have your fun Yes, I know, oh, I know, laugh and sing But while we're, oh, where are we? Laugh and sing But while we're apart, don't give your heart to anyone But don't forget who's taking you home And in whose arms you're gonna be so oh, darling, say the last dance for me Baby, don't you know I love you so Can't you feel it when we touch I will never ever let you go I love you oh so much You can dance, go and carry on Till the night is gone and it's time to go if he asks if you're all alone Can he take you home? You must tell him no But don't forget who's taking you home And in whose arms you're gonna be So darling, say the last dance for me But don't forget who's taking you home And in whose arms you're gonna be so darling, save the last dance for me Mmm, -hmm, save the last dance for me Mmm, -hmm, save the last dance for me Alright, I know that seemed uh, like a duplicate, but ask yourself, after you did both of those, which did you feel more comfortable singing? So the first one was in the key of G, second was in the key of C. Just FYI. All right, we're going to do something. So uh, I wrote a song. Um, I was talking with a friend of mine, and she just had this funny story about she would complain to a friend of hers that life was so terrible, and her friend would say, are you in jail? And she's like, no. And she's like, are you? And she would ask you these questions. 
And very quickly, <laughs> excuse me. And very quickly, my friend, because of what her friend said, realized that her life was actually pretty good. Um, so anyway, that that made me kind of think of this. We really do have pretty good lives, <clears throat> even though we might think we might not think we do <clears throat> sometimes. So I want to cover one part in this because it's a little tough to play. Ah, Linda, you like C better. Most everybody likes C better, yes. Now, if you had a really high vocal range, you might like the G better. Hey, Mark is heading off. Mark, again, thank you so much. You were great. We hope we can do this again sometime, but thank you for the tips and thank you for the, the performance. So appreciated. All right, so we, and he stayed up once again. He stayed up for us um, till almost one in the morning. So that's a, that's a pretty nice gesture. Okay, so if you look at some of these, we have a B minor. We have a B minor major seven. I know that's a mouthful. Then we have a B seven. And then it goes into an E7. So if you look at that line, the third line of the of verse one. So let's let's start just by trying to do that slowly. So let's start because it comes out of an E7 on line two. So play an E7. And then you gotta go from an E7 straight to a B minor, which is not the easiest thing. But if you look at those next three, so let me come back down here. If you look at a B minor, all you have to do is keep your barred finger in the exact same spot and then just move over one fret on the G string. And that takes you from B minor to B major seven. And then basically all you're doing, if you're barring the whole second fret, you're just lifting up any other fingers and just barring that whole fret. So it's a, it looks difficult, but it's actually a pretty easy transition. And then it goes to, uh, from that, it goes to E7. So we come from an A7 and back to an E7 when it's all done. So it sort of sounds like. So it's not, can we change this to a C? This one I can't. Because I wrote it in my voice, <laughs> in my key. <laughs> so I can send it to you if you want it later, Karen. And if you want it in a C, I could do that. Um, if you want to see what it looks like in a C, I can do that. But I'm going to change it back to A. Oh, sorry. So it becomes much more, except for that same line, because you have D minor, D minor, major 7, and D minor 7. So, so. But just because this is an A... It'll probably fit your voice. It doesn't mean you're singing in the key of A. It means the song is, the music is in the key of A. Okay, so we are gonna start. I'm not gonna walk through how this goes, but I kinda like this. Um, here we go. Uh, well, let's run through that one more time, that B minor, once or twice. Tell you what, let's do that once or twice. So, ready? Let's start with E7. B minor. B minor major seven. B minor seven. And E seven. It'll get easier. I've had to practice, I've had to play this a whole bunch of times. I'm gonna mess up, I promise you, when we do this. But uh, I'm, I'm trying, I just finished this song just the other day, so. All right, we're gonna try this. Here we go. I want a two, I want two, three, and. I'm in traffic at a red light, fifth one in a row. I'm late, I am frustrated, I've got places to go. Here's the hard one, ready? 
I then see a crippled man in the street in the heat with a jar. He's asking folks for a spare change. I'm in a nice cool car. How great things are. How great things are. I did it yet again. I forgot how great things are. Hi, verse two. Another day at the office, the boss can be a jerk. I'm stressed out and some tired, can't handle all this work. I gaze out of this window from this office I call mine. And down the street I see it, the unemployment line. How great things are, how great things are. Did it yet again, I forgot how great things are. Wake up in the morning and everything is sore I barely slept a wink last night due to someone else's snore I've got a stack of bills and a plumber to call Again forgot how blessed I am that I woke up at all How great things are, how great things are I did it yet again, I forgot how great things are. I'm not in jail, my health is good, I forgot how great things are. I've got a job, my bills are paid, I forgot how great things are. A pantry full of healthy food, I forgot how great things are. I'm blessed with friends and family, I forgot how great things are. You've got far more than you might think, don't forget. How great things are. Alright, a few mistakes in that. I've only played that a handful of times, but um Yes, okay, so the B minor walk down, uh I will not take any credit for that. I I uh, was chatting with Victoria Vox, um, who is well I was chatting with Victoria Vox and asked her some opinion, and she had that cool idea of doing that little walk down on that line. So it's different than what I had, but it's very cool. And I will give all that credit to Victoria Vox. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, Victoria. All right. That's, that's a little awkward to do a song that is new. And anyway, hope you like that. Hope you like that. All right, so we started last week. We <laughs> this is where I screwed up last week, and we were we were uh, gonna over a multi-week period. We were gonna take this song and we were gonna speed it up. And last week we played it through, and we played it through with me not putting the uh, the chords <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> so sorry about that again. Once again, I apologize. <laughs> um, and let me change something because I need to change the drum machine. All right, so we're gonna use this. Not necessarily that this beat goes with this song, but the point is we're gonna do this to a, a tempo, and this is 95 beats per minute. And then next week, we're gonna do the same thing. We're not gonna do this entire song. We're just gonna do this one section a couple times. Uh, it's the same thing over and over. Every verse is basically the same. So we're just gonna stick with the verse one. And then, <laughs> Stephen, maybe um, that might be true. I'll have to uh, I'll have to check on that. 
Um, he's saying I have to give uh, royalties half. Half? Half's a lot. Um, okay, so we're going to play the some drums. Okay, I think we should hear drums. And this, I know this seems dreadfully slow, right? Dreadfully slow. But that's the point. So we're just going to start straight with verse one, right? And the idea is to go to the beat. So this is slow. We're going to go something like this. Right? So you see that is hitting that beat. So we're going to do that all the way through. And then I'm going to, I decided I'm going to set up a drop box and I'm going to then make all the stuff that I say is going to be available. I'm going to make that available. Um, so song sheets I'm going to make available, stuff like this I'm going to make available. And I'll put the link on Facebook and you can just go to Dropbox and download that. So should have done that long ago, but I've committed. I'm going to do it. Okay, Jane, you are right. It is dreadfully slow. And if you sang this, like the song of Hot Tamales. Oh, I guess it's Hot Tamales in the Red Hot. Yeah, it's really slow compared to how the song goes. So here we go. Ready? One, a two, a one, two, three, and... So we're going to do it one more time and we're going to, I'm going to say the words so it'll probably be easier to know where we are. It's just, it's going to be really slow singing. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Now again, the whole point of this, if you're an advanced player, you're probably rolling your eyes and saying, can we please move on to something, something more fun and challenging. But if you're a beginning player, this kind of thing is tough. You're like, ah, how do I ever play a song that fast? I been there done that I mean I really remember that and uh, so we're gonna do this and next week we're gonna do it like 10 or 20 beats faster and then the week after that 10 or 20 beats faster and and you'll have time in between to practice so all right hey Weldon greetings greetings yes I should have done that a long time ago Weldon long time ago all right here we go are you ready one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Hot tamales in the red hot. Yes, she got them for sale. Hot tamales in the red hot. Yes, she got them for sale. I got a girl. The feet's in the hall Hot tamales in the red house Yes, she got them for sale I mean, yes, she got them for sale Alright, so I will make that available. I'll put the link in, uh, in Facebook. I'll just make a post and put the link in Facebook and practice that because next week we're going to go faster. And the week after that, we're going to go even faster. And by the end of this, hopefully, those who weren't comfortable playing at a fairly fast speed will feel a whole lot better. Okay, I want to do something. I mentioned Victoria Vox. Um, 
just a moment ago. So I want to play something for you. Victoria! She's not really there. This is recorded, but it sounds, it looks good, right? Hey, Victoria! Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Hey guys, it's Victoria Vox. I look forward to seeing you all on Wednesday, November 18th for the online Uke Jam. Big thanks to Ukulele Gent for inviting me back on. We'll play a couple tunes and you'll learn about rhythm and melody. See you then. All right, so next week, that was Victoria Vox. Um, so next week, tune in. Um, there's gonna be some really good stuff she's bringing um, to Wednesday night's play along. So I, I do want to talk about Victoria for a second. So a lot, right, of, of performers with no festivals and no no bar gigs, club gigs, those types of things. I mean, their their lives have changed. Um, they used to, you know, perform and, and make a living, and now they don't have that. So um, they're they're doing various things. So a little while back, we had Victoria on the show, and I talked to her a little bit, and I had some questions, and I said, "Can I? Can I like?" Could we chat every once in a while? I got, I got music questions and you seem to know everything. So she said, yeah. So I do that. So every, uh, I don't know, every couple weeks, I've got a, a, a session with Victoria Vox and I joke around with her and I call it, it's one hour of Ask Victoria Vox Anything. And it's cool because it's, it's not a formalized lesson because I don't want it to be a formalized lesson. Um, she does give formal, formal lessons. Um, with actual lesson plans. I didn't want that. I just want to be able to say, hey, when, when, when I see this or when I hear this, how did, what was the artist thinking? How did they write that? Why did they come up with this progression? Like that B minor, B minor major seven, uh, B minor seven. Um, anyway, it's, it's awesome. So I'm just saying there's opportunity. So if, you, if, if you're curious and want to have training, um, Victoria does that. Um, so. Uh, it's fun. I have a blast. It is a lot of fun um, to do that. All right, and she's coming next week. So tell your friends, Victoria Vox, next week, uh, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be fun. All right, so we only have two more songs. 8.14. All right, we're doing just, we're doing just, gr just fine. Hey, Mark J., thank you very much. Appreciate that. See you later, Terry. All right. Here we go. One, a two. Oh, wait. <laughs> I almost did that again. <laughs> oh, no. Not this time. I caught myself. All right. Here we go. Hey, paradise. We put up a parking lot. With the pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot spot. Don't it always seem to go That you don't know what you got till it's gone They pay paradise and put up a parking lot Ooh, pop, pop, pop Ooh, pop, pop, pop They took all the trees, put them in a tree museum And they charged the people a dollar and a half just to see them don't it always seem to go That you don't know what you got till it's gone They pay paradise and put up a parking lot mm, ba, ba, ba. Mm, ba, ba, ba. Hey farmer, farmer, put away the DDT now Give me spots on my apples But leave me the birds and the bees don't it always seem to go But you don't know what you got till it's gone They pay paradise and put up a parking lot mm, ba, ba, ba. Mm, ba, ba, ba. Late last night, heard the screen door slam And the big yellow taxi took away my old man don't it always seem to go That you don't know what you got till it's gone They pay paradise and put up a parking lot ba, ba, ba. Don't it always seem to go 
But you don't know what you got till it's gone. They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. They pay, oh wait, they pay paradise, put up a parking lot. <laughs> oh goodness. Alrighty. And this okay, cause all right, we have a we have a choice here. Um, Mark did a little instruction with three little birds, so we have a choice of doing three little birds as the last song, like we usually do. Or if you've already heard that and want to do "Don't Worry, Be Happy," because it's the same general idea of each song. So. Tell me in the comments real quick. Um, would you rather do Don't Worry, Be Happy or Three Little Birds? And I'll just, uh, Johnny Cash. <laughs> Jane, that's not an option, Johnny Cash. <laughs> Sing so we know where we are. Don't worry. All right. Don't worry wins it. Wow, I didn't realize it would be that that one-sided. Are you joking? <laughs> hey, Diane, we got one vote for three little birds. And Jolene, three birds. All right. Don't worry is the definite winner. Wow. Maybe that means you're tired of hearing three little birds as the last song every week. Hmm. Oh, I sound like Johnny Cash. Ah, well, that's nice. I think. I think that's nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm going to whistle during the green part, just so you can kind of see where we are. And it helps me know where I am as well. That's a cheating thing. People think I whistle just because it sounds good along with the instrumental. No, I whistle to keep pace on where everything should be. All right. Ready? I won't. A two. And I'm going to chuck this one with an island strum. Island strum with a chuck. Ready? I won't. A two. A one, two, three, and... Sing it note for note, don't worry, be happy. In every life we have some trouble, when you worry you make it double, don't worry, be happy. Somebody came and took your bed, don't worry, be happy. Landlord say your rent is late, you may have to litigate, don't worry, be happy. Cash ain't got no style, ain't got no gal to make you smile, don't worry, be 
be happy Cause when you worry your face will frown That will bring everybody down Don't worry Be happy Here's a little song I wrote I hope you learned it note for note Don't worry Be happy In your life expect some trouble When you worry you make it double Don't worry Be happy Hey, that's a fun one. It's a good whistling song. Hello, Mike and Carol Gent. That's my mom and dad. <laughs> Aren't they just the sweetest parents? So my parents really are. They're like the sweetest parents on the planet. I apologize to all the other parents that think they're the sweetest, but mine really are. I talked to my mom earlier, and she's told me this before. They actually have a Wednesday night, like, they change their whole schedule on Wednesday. And they eat earlier um, so they can be ready for this. <laughs> for this. Oh, they're so sweet. So thank you, Mom and Dad. Love you guys. You're awesome. Um, all right, so we talked enough. Um, Mark Gallagher, once again, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, that was very cool. Um, we hope to do that again. We hope to see you at a festival live soon. Um, that was that was just phenomenal. So thank you. Um, practice hot tamales. Check the Facebook feed if you're not um, following the. I, I never thought I'd say this. I just feel silly, but it probably is good to follow that page because when something's posted, then you'll know. So you'll know when like playalongs are or when songs have been posted or things like that. So. Go on to Facebook and follow, uh, or like, one of the two, um, Ukulele Gent, which <laughs> cracks me up that I'm even saying that. But I will get that in face, uh, Dropbox, and we'll put stuff there from now, uh, from now going forward. Uh, next week, Victoria Vox. Uh, like I said, tell your friends that's going to be a good one. Um, and uh, y'all take care of yourself. Hope you had a great time. I um, hope you have a great week. And, uh, you know, I hear Pete McCarty uh, when he's on his show, and I've said it here before, but um, call somebody. Um, this really is a kind of a lonely time for a lot of people. So if there is somebody you haven't talked to in a while or someone you think might need a phone call, just call. They would greatly appreciate that, I'm sure. That would mean a lot to a lot of people. All right. So thank you. Um, we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Take care and uh, good night. Bye.